Erin, thank you. All new this morning, October marks Domestic Violence Awareness Month, and a community organization is working to help survivors in our community. It's called Upward Design for Life, and it works to better the lives of people who are in need. Our 7 News reporter Taylor Anthony here with us this morning to explain. Taylor, good morning to you. Yeah, good morning, Ed and Katie. So Upward Design for Life is making a huge impact in our community by transforming a house into a home for those in need. And this morning, we are sharing the voice of a survivor of domestic violence who says she is forever thankful for this organization and helping her to start her life over again. Wow. Amazing. And I've had to start over so many times, but um, this time having all that extra help and those resources was a real blessing. This is the voice of a survivor of domestic violence. After living in a shelter, she decided to do a transitional housing program, which later connected her with Dion Williamson's nonprofit, Upward Design for Life. Upward Design for Life is a nonprofit organization with a mission to restore hope by transforming empty spaces into homes for families in need. So basically, with donations that we accept of furniture and household items right from our community, we take those items and we completely furnish homes for individuals and families who are transitioning out of shelters. There is a donation center in Cheek Tawaga where they accept gently used furniture and decor. You can request to make a donation and they will make arrangements for a pickup or drop off. You go from sleeping on the floor to sleeping in a bed in a beautiful room that's created for you. You go from sitting on the floor not having a meal at a table to now having a place for your family to gather at the end of the day to have a meal. That's really a big deal. But then add those special touches to really complete the spaces and make it feel like home. They provided me with the furniture and everything that I needed. There was extra things like towels and dishes and um, you know the little things that you don't really think about. And when she came back, she just stood there and put her hands over her mouth in awe, and she just began to quietly cry, you know, and it, because it was more than what she had expected. So sometimes people think, okay, they're just gonna bring us some furniture, drop the furniture off, but whenever I'm on that job, I'm gonna put love into every single thing that we do. They're all beautiful souls, <laughs> and I appreciate them so much. Upward Design for Life has served 121 households in seven years and greatly relies on community support and volunteers to continue making an impact. If you or someone you know is experiencing domestic violence, you can reach out to the Domestic Violence Hotline for confidential support and resources. You know, Taylor, I just want to reiterate, uh, somebody has a gently used couch or some furniture they want to donate. How can they do that? So you'll just call. You can find the number on her website, and it'll be linked on our website as well. And she'll schedule to come and see it or, you know, send pictures. They want gently used. She stresses gently used used items and then either schedule a drop off or pick up for the item. All of that available for you on WKBW.com. I love how it's like a design with it too. Yes. You know what I mean? Makes you feel like you are going home. It goes such a long way. Yeah. Taylor, thank you so much. If you or someone you know is a victim of domestic violence, help is available at the Family Justice Center, Erie County Child and Family Services, and the National Domestic Violence Hotline. We've got those numbers for you on WKBW.com.